Tonight's going to be a difficult night. Uh, our people are out there working hard. We are not giving up. But it's going to be a difficult night for the community. We have um, close to uh, 2,500 people who I've asked to leave their homes. And we have close to 6,000 who are on evacuation alert. Um, I've asked them to get ready. Um, it will be difficult for them. The fire is going to be very dramatic tonight. Uh, as it gets dark, the fire is going to look like it is right on top of the community. Uh, it's going to burn well into the early hours of the morning. There'll be glow and, and huge flames visible along the top of the hill. Um, we're monitoring it constantly, uh, but I, I need the public to be aware it's going to be dramatic what you see. We knew today was going to be challenging. Um, I started uh, 24 hours ago uh, saying that and spreading word to the public uh, that we needed to treat this fire seriously. Uh, all of the predictions we expected came true. The winds that we uh, were forecast arrived and it proved to be a very challenging day. Firefighters were faced with challenging conditions on the fire today. Uh, they were removed from their posts on multiple occasions for their own safety. Uh, we, places could not be found uh, in order to anchor and fight this fire. Uh, I'm fortunate uh, to stand alongside uh, my counterpart from the BC Wildfire Service in Unified Command. We are working seamlessly together uh, in order to stop this fire from affecting our community.